What's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. Welcome to the final set of the Hot Scope featured contracts. In this video, we'll be covering the Fire Frag featured contract and the Man in the Grandfather Clock featured contract as well. I'll leave the timestamp for both in the description. If you look for other contracts that are covered in the Hot Scope featured contract uh, release, then I'll leave the link to those videos in the description. So, for starting off with Fire Frag, here is the briefing as follows Fragmentation grenades. So, did you ever use them? In a serious attempt of a professional murder, you probably got that. Uh, probably got the gist about them. You throw them, you, they blow up loudly, loudly, and before you know it, the body was spotted, ruining your score. Well, it is time to put one you to use for some more beneficial outcome. Even more, if you want to get this done quickly, you'll have to learn about the other way to set one off. Better bring a scoped weapon. So that's a bit of a clue to how we're going to take, how to take the target out. So three targets, uh, all of them have to be taken out. Well. Well, two of them have to be taken out with a bodyguard disguise. One with a frag grenade, and we have to make sure we don't pacify anybody. So we're going to start in the office. I'm going to bring along a briefcase with a Seeker 300 stored inside it. A coin, and we're going to bring along a suppressed pistol. From the very start, we're going to let this opening panic shot play out. Then we're immediately going to go into the panic room and grab ourselves a frag grenade. This is one just going to be on the wall. Just going to grab that. So with this in hand, we're going to head straight to the roof. We're going to lay our trap, which is essentially what we're going to do. See the thumbnail of the uh, the contract gives a little gives this a little bit of a way as well. So the briefing gives you a hint, and the uh, the contract title card also gives you a little bit of a hint on how to do this contract as well. So what we're going to do is wait for these two guys to start talking, and then we're going to throw a coin on the other side of this area over here. Now it's just going to get them to turn around while we go and set the trap. So we're going to take out the frag grenade. You need to come to this location around about halfway. Then we need to place the frag grenade on the, as far as you possibly can on that side. Uh, we're going to take that out a little bit later on. So what we need to do is just basically set... Now that's set up, we just need to take out our first target to go and get that disguise before we set that off. So we're just going to drop off the roof, drop down here and head our way towards the exit, uh, where our initial target is going to be. Val, I think his name is. So there is a bunch of enforcers all over the beach. Just be careful of that. Just need me to work our way through them. I'm going to use my coin to my advantage as well. For some reason, it still makes that tingling noise when you throw a coin in the sand. It's quite funny. So I'm just going to chuck one over there just to get this card to turn around so we can get past them. For this guy, we're just going to wait for him to turn around to the right. There we go. Try and keep you a little bit of distance, because you can still hear your footsteps when you're in the bushes. Here's our first target, so we're going to shoot him and take him out. Headshot. Here we go over there and quickly put his disguise on. We're going to go up to the highest peak on the sand dune here, so we're just going to take our sniper rifle out of the briefcase. Walk up to here, and then zoom in on your targets. So your first target should be over to the right. You can take the end of these out in any order you want to, whichever is, you know you're more comfortable with, depending on the position really. But I'm going to headshot my guy on the right because he's our target that we have to snipe. He has spotted that grenade that's on the edge, so you need to make sure you shoot it just before he picks it up. And once you've done that, we're going to head straight to the exit here and we'll get our silent assassin rated. So that's how you set off a frag grenade without actually throwing it. Which is what the briefing was referring to. So if you were wondering how to do a silent assassin for far frag, that is how you do it. Pretty, uh, pretty good way of actually showing off that. Although it's still pretty useless because you could just use a remote explosive. <laughs> But I guess it is an alternative way of using it. But that's uh, how you do Far Frag with the Silent Assassin rating. So let's move on to the next contract. So for Man in the Grandfather Clock, uh, this is taking place in the bank in New York. Here's the briefing. It says, you are standing in the face of a clock, surrounded by the bodies of unconscious guards. You are staking out your next targets, awaiting the perfect moment to strike. You have them in your scope, but you must wait for their one moment of solitude. Your mission 47 is to stop a murder. 
A group of employees at Milton Fitzpatrick are planning to assassinate CEO Athena Savalas by using a poison letter. You must eliminate these targets from a distance to ensure you are not poisoned too. So we have three targets for this one. All of them have to be taken out with a sniper rifle and we can do it in any disguise. And there's only one exit available, which is the CEO exit. We're going to start first floor on, as a disguise as a janitor. We're going to bring along a Seeker 1, lockpick, coin, and have a Seeker 300 ghost stored at the executive floor. From the very start, we're going to skip the panning shot and head straight upstairs. So we need to set a few things up. Doesn't matter if you get spotted by the camera here, we're taking out the cameras anyway, so don't worry. As you enter this office, we're going to stay crouched and circle around the room, keeping your distance from the guard. Don't worry about that frag grenade, I picked it up by accident, but what we needed to do is just remove that evidence and grab the key card off the table. Use the key card on this door, make your way upstairs. So now all the cameras are taken out, so you don't have to worry about those anymore. We're going to circle around the room to the left, pick up the feather duster, which is just right here, use the key card on the door to your left, and enter the room. Pick up the briefcase with your sniper rifle in it, and then turn off the Wi Fi in the room. Enter the room, but just be wary of the guards around the area. Take out your seeker and take out this guard right here. He's going to go off to get him out of the area for a while. And he's going to be sick. Our next target is going to be the guard in the distance. So to make sure that we are shielded, we're using this pillar to our advantage. And then shoot him as soon as you see him. Just be careful not to get spotted. And once you've gotten rid of him, we're going to take the sniper rifle out of the briefcase. Then equip the feather duster. Wait for that guard to walk away. Then knock out this guard. And then throw the duster at Savalas' head. Next, take out the Seeger 300. And shoot the wall just there. Then take out the target down here. You should be mopping the floor. Create a distraction to that security guard down the bottom. Take out our second target here. Wait for that guard to move next to the wall. And once he does that, shoot him in the head. That's all three targets down. Next, we're going to pass through this door. Shoot the door with a sniper rifle. Take the keycard off the table. Run over to where the security guard is and put his disguise on. You can drop the sniper from this point. You don't need it. You're going to run through this next room. It's full of enforcers, but uh, they are slow at spotting you. So just make sure you run through there as quickly as you can. Head all the way down the stairs and take the exit to your left. And that's how you complete this contract. Silent Assassin. So that is the man in the grandfather clock. Some people have done this in like a minute. I have no idea how they've done it. But it's mighty impressive because I tried my best to work out how exactly they did it. But I couldn't, so... This is the method I came up with, so there we go. Not the fastest in the world, but it's efficient, it works. There we go, Silent Assassin. So that wraps up the uh, the hot scope featured contracts. That's all six taken care of. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members, Bedry, Wandering Wendy B, Constantine Mueller, Mark Davis, and Paul at Home for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. If you want your name read out in the credits, be sure to become a Psycho Assassin members by just clicking the link in the description for all the details. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.